That should be good. Okay. Uh, back to this. What did I want to do? I think it was, yeah. That. <clears throat> Something like that. That one, this one. That's not right. That one's right. Yep, okay, and they said they wanted... Some smaller ones, so we'll do that. Alright, hit that. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... 24, 34, 44. Yeah. With the balance. Hmm. Debating. Uh, yeah, I'm just debating stuff, really. Yeah, it's fine. Just take the javelins out. <sighs> Just thinking balance wise, we had like 50 people, so I'm gonna base this off of a 40 person. So, wouldn't it be better? Ah, I wanna do strikers though. I'm debating how to do a balance here. Uh, we'll do one tank, so it'll be 10 people. So 10, 8, 16, 32, 42, plus ground command, which is 6. So that's 46. Plus logistics. Ground Command can bring up the logistics. So, that should be good. And then we have the quad bike for recon if need be. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Now I need to make some slots. That's alright, Isa. Happy New Year. It's Still 2020, as I recall. But uh, I'm basically, guys, I'm taking what we did uh, last Monday and going forward with it. But this is with the TSV updated mod set. Uh, the update went live today, but it doesn't go official until Friday. So that's when we actually transition over. So, you know, it gives people a few days to download it. That's why you see this TSB unit test tab. 
but for this one, uh, I do have air. I, I have aircraft down, but I'm not going to use any today. I'm going to make this out of a, like a template legacy thingamajig. But I keep getting sidetracked with myself. I need a uh, crewman, crewman, crewman. I can do engineer. Eh, no, I want to do crewman. Something else I need to check real quick. Just to make sure I'm not going crazy. That's why. Send in GOAT Team 6 now. 20 months in the year 2020. My daughter's due date is April 20th, 2020. I think the universe is trying to tell me something. Hey, Tin. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, that's all I gotta say is, uh, nice. <laughs> I know you're on break, man. Slot is, uh, still open if you ever want to take it back, but I know, uh, you're busy with all that crazy stuff going on, but, uh, thanks for the 20 month reset. <laughs> Uh, do you have 2020 vision too? Because I'd be willing to six. take a stab at that. But I hope you keep enjoying the ops, man. And I hope you get a little kick out of this. I know we got Granite's op in two hours. I'm going to be making that. Granite wants me to play as a commissar. So I'll uh, go entertain him with that. But I hope you uh, <laughs> I hope you keep enjoying the operations, Tin. Both playing, Zeusing, and watching. And I, uh, yeah. I, <laughs> that, was, that was great. <laughs> Oh my god, they actually did add a sawed-off shot. What? Oh my god. I haven't looked at all the guns were added with the new thing, but I'm really concerned. They added the gold pistol. Figures, the revolvers, yep. Yeah. Alright, a lot of a lot of cool new stuff to play with, but I'm gonna play it safe. Ooh, Carpus! Cool. Golden Deagle. Ay, 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 ay. Just, you know, all this has to be damage tested and stuff. And Broken Exodius, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub, my man. I hope you keep enjoying the operations, and I hope you get a little kick out of this build stream. Completely lost my train of thought here. I need to go into you. I need to delete that. I need to give you 20 bandages. Two cable tie, earplug, we're not doing e-tools. Helmet cap, four of these. Four of those, and four of these. Magazines wise, I'll give you... How many 5.5A ones can I fit? Oh, well, screw you then. We'll give you one of those, two of these, and oh, well, that's all you get then. Have fun being, uh, armor. He's got his short range, he's got his thingy, so yeah. Cool. Alright, so save as, uh, 2020 US Iran. And I'm going to save this additionally. It's P1. Okay, that way I have a copy of that so I can delete all those for future use. And I can get rid of all these. I'm going to keep the eight-man squads. I'm going to keep this uh, six-man dynamic because it was working pretty well. Put him out of the way. Let's 
Well, I didn't need to delete that squad, actually. Uh, I do need a third one, but I gotta add a fourth guy. Alright, and then select that right-click. Attributes. Playable. Uh... At... No. Badger 1-1, one, one. I am capitalizing those. Cool. Driver, and then the gunner. And then, uh, let's see. Gorillas. I said driver like an idiot, didn't I? Driver. Gunner. Loader. That should be good. And then these guys, I'm going to quickly uh, select all three of them and switch their thing to a rugged tablet. That was a tribute to WeeWoo. Ah, fine. We'll call it War. No, I want to keep Gorilla. War Pig would be pretty funny, though. Which day? Uh, this is going to be for a new Monday campaign. I'm just going to do a whole U.S. Iranian thing, because why not? This gives me time, because here's my strategy here. I'm playing it a little generic, doing a U.S. versus Iran, keeping it topical. But this is going to give me time on the side to work on the projects I need, I want to finish. So Project 77, and then Grandiose Project 11, which will be what replaces this campaign. Uh, and it's going to be a play off of a previous Grandiose Project, which I never finished because it all fell apart because the Tier 4 is... You know, stop doing ops. And that's kind of what's happening with Tier 3, too, right now. So we'll see what happens. But, you know, I'm just working with what we got. So how many slots is this total? Okay, 32, 30, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. So... Debating. Do I just do a reserve squad? I'll just do a reserve. Fuck it. That would give an extra 8 slots, so you have 32, 38, 42, 48, 56, and then 57 for the Zeus slot. So that, that should... We're not going to break low 50s. We've never had an op break. At the biggest one we had in TSB was 52 people. So, if we actually start maxing out 60 slots on the server, awesome, first off. Really, really awesome, but I doubt it. Okay, so we have that set. Let me go to add-on options. 
load the tier 2 settings. The difference is we're going to go to medical. And... No. Let me save that over real quick. Let me also go to view restrictions. All right, that's checked off. Good. Just making sure that was fixed. So... Now, I've already done... The reason it's easier for me to do it this way is I've already done unit testing with the Iranian stuff. So, setting this to 0 0.01 and just letting Project Op 4's body armor kind of take precedent. And then, because I'm anal about it, I'm going to confirm that. Okay, cool. Uh, that'll still, even at 0 0.01, it'll take like two to three shots to the chest for them to go down. So, Ground Command Vic is an M2, but it's also the resupply for the vehicles. And then you have Alpha Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and Strikers. All of these Vics have the infantry level resupply they need. And I also remember them saying that the ADT guys had an issue with the bandages in their loadouts. Okay, yeah. 22 boop. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to add E-Tools to their VIX. Frosty, what is up with you in soup? Thank you for dabbing on me, Mox. I appreciate it. Where's my drone strikes? Uh, don't worry. When they take the airfield, they'll op after. They're going to get air support and drones. Actually, I'll give them, a, uh, I'll give them an air support drone as well. Uh, as long as, you know, UAV operator handles it well. I scrolled way past the E. Gosh darn it. I got dabbed on too hard by Moxie and I just didn't notice. E, F, G. E. E. That's so weird. Okay. E. That's the wrong one. E. There we go. So what this is going to end up turning into is after they take the first airfield, it's going to be completely combined arms. You know, they can take air assets or they can take um, vehicles. It's entirely up to them because I'm trying to promote some thinking. But what I've also noticed is uh, thinking's really, really hard for them. So <laughs> we'll figure it out, I guess, but whatever. All right, what sexy, sexy ordinance can I put on you? Ah. Uh, what? I'm fascinated. <sighs> I remember magic missiles. Good times. Don't laugh at the word short distance. You can die from rattlesnakes, poison tea. Jeez.
I'm just gonna give it vanilla, and if they want to change pylons, they can change pylons. Gorilla has two driver slots set. Do uh, did I fuck that up? Abrams commander, driver, gunner, loader, but that's number three. Good catch. So I'm going to literally just put that right there. If they want to have it land, they can have it land on the airfield. Yeah. All right, attributes, general, hostile, ally, binarized mission file, no. Multiplayer. Custom position, check that box, set these up to five, check that, uncheck that, check this. Build a debug squad. Go up here. Take the Iranian boyos out. Let's see. Uh... Completely lost track of Iran. Islam Republic of Iran. Ooh, they added fighter planes. Ooh. 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 Okay. They have FIA from the 1980s. That's pretty dope. That's nice. This means I don't have to use the, the futuristic ones. So what do we have here? I have a Phantom. We'll section these off. Yeah, right, O'Kane. Okay. Yeah, if you're planning on playing next Monday, uh, spoilers, but, you know. It's also one of those things where I don't care if you spoil it for yourself. If it's something that I care about, I'm not going to, uh... I'm not going to stream it. I don't know what a uh, age and ghost means. I think that's probably a reference to a different video game, but... Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome. I look at oh it's because that one hasn't doesn't have the decal it makes sense. Nope, not that. Uh, helicopters. We're just stylizing this base a little bit. Yep. Uh, and then we can do some ZEI templating. So that one, that one, this. I'll put some random brown vix in there. We can load that one up as well. And I can garrison this fire station. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. And we can get that one, too, for good measure. Oh, we can do that one, because I like doing my little towers, and... You son of a bitch! That's okay. Okay. How could we join the op? Uh, up oh, 10 already got exclamation point join. Uh, you know, I should really change that command. Just use the Discord one instead. The Discord command makes it easier to do stuff, in my opinion, but... Work with what you can. I'm totally going to put Shilkas down. Yeah, I'm not going to put those in there. I'm going to put some 80s in here. So we'll put a line of 80s. I'll put a line of 113s. Again, these are just for show pieces. And... in there too all 
All right, now to really mess around. All right, I do need to stylize a few things in here because nah, it's, it's too open. Where's the love for the infantry, you know? Desert. Camps? No. No, let's do this one at a time here. Let's focus on a checkpoint. Okay. Do I have a vehicle bunker from you? Because that would be really, really cool if I did. Just get rid of those bushes. All right, so we've got that. Now I'd want to make some sort of AA emplacements. So what I generally do for these is I go into here, I go to desert, I go to fortifications. And I go to mortar pit. And that's going to be for our Shilko. We also have a checkpoint over here, so I'm going to go back to small checkpoints. And then I'm going to put an outpost in here of some sort. Eh, field barracks is too much. Yeah. There's there's yes and no's when I see that, but I'm just going to leave it cuz at the same time I'm just putting something there. Have fun in YouTube, Mox. It's a cold cold place. Do I have an Iranian flag? Excellent. That works. Serenzik, no. You're not allowed. No grass for you. Grass is bad. Okay. Eh, let's put one more little small position right here. Let's edit this quite a bit here. Ah, get rid of those standing ones. Let's go into here. Let's do some uh, logistics VIX. Hey, Serenzik, if you want to make your own mission and put snow covered trees in the desert, have fun. Go crazy. I know you know how. <laughs> and where's the trucks? Because I can throw up the uh, logistics trucks in here. And then I can throw some girls in here. But yeah, you know, something small in the open. 
I think that's fitting, because this airbase is going to be meant to be captured. Light fortifications, you know, stay mobile with the vehicles. I think that would be nice. Uh, now this coal mine is where I want to put a second base. We'll get to rocket artillery, don't worry. That would be really cool to fortify that central building and turn that to like a fighting position. Probably turn this into some sort of like fuel depot. And then probably, what, where's a good flat chunk? It would be right here, so what if I could fortify the center? Yeah, mobile BTR position. Nothing too, too crazy. Just take a few buildings, fortify them. Think about the wave tier defense. Uh, I think that was a misconfig in the building. But again, that is like a mini outpost. And I still have to decorate the map. Ah. Uh, from what I've been told, though, and what I've seen on a bunch of uh, discords, U.S. versus Iran is a very big concept right now, but I haven't heard of a single group doing the Iranian side. And I debated doing that, but too lazy. <laughs> they certainly would get the advantage, though, with that Project Op 4 armor versus RHS armor right now. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Just use a flag instead. Give me that arrow. Because technically this province is in Afghanistan, so I'm just claiming, hey, they expanded in there, blah, blah, blah. Because now it's going to be all about finding these types of positions and pretty much fortifying the absolute hell out of them or making my own. But I'm going to be having a few different levels of fighters here. We're going to be having the standing army, the resistance, uh, not the resistance, the rebel fighters that are allied with them, and then special forces from CSAT. And I will have to ballistic test the hell out of CSAT. But it's pretty much take airfield and take perimeter, so... Ah. Put this as a marker, because we know there's enemy activity here. stuff. I don't know, maybe we could do some boat stuff, but I'd have to test the river, but that would be pretty cool. A boat assault into somewhere. Is that a dam? That's a dam. Yeah, the question is, can the boats, like, go past that? And there isn't really a major settlement they'd go into, but you could always figure that out. With extensive testing.
Oh, broken, yeah, don't worry. When we get to unit development, we'll be making that. I'm just kind of developing the AO right now. Something good for, you know, hour and a half, two hours. Now here comes the real fun. Making big grid zones. Okie dokie, artichokey. So I'm going to make three different areas with three different uh, units, basically. Uh, hey Storm, I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? How did I rescale the marker that quickly? Uh, I hit the 5 key that turns it to the area widget and then I just drag it. It's uh, that one. Usually I just don't have a widget on because I find them annoying when you're just editing stuff around, but they're useful when you need them. Okay. I should have copied these over, but I was lazy, I guess. Yeah, area widgets are for making areas, so radii of, uh, whatchamacallits. Uh, environment hide zones and stuff, that's what area widgets for. Very useful. Ah, text. Okay, so I'm not copying pasting those guys. I'm copying pasting these. Scenario open. Because I already have the units made from the Iran stuff, so you know. Why reinvent the wheel? Oh, Storm, that sucks. I hope you are able to dig yourself out of that hole, man. We're always here if you need us, but... Oof. Just big oof <laughs> from what I read. We're always here, my man. We're always here. Okay. So a few things I need to make. One, sniper spotter team, and then a sentry with the, that puppy. So, uh, those loadouts are already tested, good to go, blah, blah, blah. In this corner, I'm going to develop some resistance fighters, which I'm thinking will literally just do Middle Eastern Militia. So, Warlord to lead, PKM, PKM assistant, uh, not gonna do Grenadiers with these guys, but a car 98, cause I'm a dick, so that's four, RPG guy, cause obviously, M38, yeah, piece of crap gun. So three, six, seven, and then the bone set. We'll do a bomber, because you never know when you want to set up IEDs. And then the bone setter, which is eight. 
which they don't give them, uh, they give them a little freaking submachine gun instead. So that's the resistance, the foreign occupation, blah, blah, blah. For a fire team, let's do something really stupid. Car 98, PM 63, <laughs> AK 74U, and Bone Setter 2 Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to run them in uh, sentry teams, but for a marksman team, I will do SVD and we'll do PM61. Now, uh, I will need to ballistic test them, but I want to also set up the quote unquote special forces. Okay, we're going to have combat teams and recon teams, so let's see. Get into a little bit of seaside here. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do uh, team leader. I'm going to mirror this off of the previous five-man team I made. AT. Marksman. Pathfinder and the JTAC. So I will need to unit test the heck out of that. That's a recon team. So I'll be I'll be actively as they take more territory, I'll be like kind of using these guys to counter them. And now the combat team. I'm going to make it a six-man team. So, asshole one. Metis for heavy AT. Oh, God. No, nah, that's going to be too OP against the vehicles. Because if I give these guys Metis, I'm going to have to eventually give the players javelins. Electronic warfare specialist. Oh, that is special indeed. Do I not have Vipers? I ran Special Forces. Oh, there they are. Nah, we're, we're playing with these puppies. Real Vipers, man. These guys will fuck your shit. So yeah, you'll rarely see these, but when you do, it's it's gonna be bad gonna be very very bad AT operative paramedic oh yeah all right let's give it a save let's see if I did all my settings right because now we got to get into ballistic testing so let's see how we have it lined up command alpha Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Badger 1-1, one, one, Badger 1-2, Commander, Driver, Gunner, 1-2-3, one, 1-2-3, two, three, one, two, three. Gorilla, and Reserve, and then Zeus. So yeah. Let's grab our squad leader. I am not going to mind. I actually prefer it if the Vipers are going to, like, you know, take up to five bullets and shit. I would love that. But uh, I also need to test the uh, in, in, uh, Insurgent dudes. And I need to test Calibers here. So we spawn out here. This is our debug base. Eventually, when we take that airfield the following week, then I'll set this up a bit better. But this is meant to be like an outside force coming in, so invasion style. Yeah, Storm, trying to get on Warcraft 3. We haven't done it in a few weeks because of a uh, lack of players, but this Friday we'll definitely be doing it. Iceberg coming insane because the old wheel in TSB used right angles and it doesn't roll too good, but we fixed that. 
Oh god. Yeah, no problem, Storm, no problem. Okay. We're gonna test these bad boys first. About to say that was a little bit of a a wait, but that's okay. So Sam Nicaros hold fire. Get your butts over here. Break them apart. Alright. So this thing's gonna tickle me. Seven bullets. What's the damage? Minor revulsions and bruises. I mean, yeah, this is what? Like. 7 and 6, 5 by 17. So puny. Pathetic. What does that even mean? Does that mean I breathed in too much bad stuff? Yeah, so this is only going to tickle people. I don't mind that. I don't mind that one bit. Okay, SVD boyo. Yeah, two to the head. That makes sense. Can I help you? <laughs> Habib, you fool! <laughs> Duck. I give up. I give up. <laughs> that was great. Just doing some innocent ballistic testing, and the guy is like, "Oh, my gun sucks. Let me throw a grenade instead." And it's like, "Why? Why would you do that?" So I think we have Arma Cash in the default mod set, yeah, because my load times are impeccable right now. How many to the chest? Nine to the chest. Habib, you fool! Stop doing that! So I might tweak the modules a little bit so we're, the players are a little less tanky. Yeah, hey, maybe if you guys would stop throwing fucking grenades, that would be great. But let me try dropping a few of these guys. Yeah, so... They don't have any body armor. Who did it? One of you shot back. Habib, you fool! You see why you shouldn't throw grenades? Now I'm gonna band it. Shit. Anyone else? Does anyone else want to get it out of their system? Because right now's the time. No? Okay, just... Okay? You good? Let's, uh, let's get him a warm welcome. You down. done? Because I know you're all on, uh, well, careless, but you're not on hold fire, so hold your fucking fire. They're careless, all right. They're freaking stupid. Okay, standard AK. 762. Okay, we're doing minor stuff now, so I might actually tone down some of that. But let's uh, let's go to our super special boyos.
Okay. So here's the issue, because if we go now to the Iranian boyos, and I take a squad of them... Oh. Surprised they didn't shoot me there. So I look at you... Yeah, so they're more tanky than the Vipers. That's funny. Yeah, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Huh? Huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. So, here's the conundrum we lie in. What gun do you have? You know, ballistic testing only works if I fire and count the bullets, not you guys. But I, I appreciate your spirit. That better not stay stuck, you son of a bitch. You guys done? Now I'm going to wake up. When I wake up, I'm going to be really mad. Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. This is VCOM also taking a bit of the reins here. So I might not be able to do special forces unless I completely rearrange their body armor to be something a bit more tanky. Let me think. That's not it. Son of a bitch! You're just killing yourselves at this point. I, I don't think they get it. You guys are literal children. I want you to know that. You are like the worst children I've ever had the misfortune of doing testing with. And you're not even people. You're just stupid AI that can't follow all fire commands. Hold fire! I don't think you know what that means! God! Next one that shoots gets nuked. Okay, uh... I love how I'm talking to these people like they're actually people, but digressing. So I'm gonna take this team leader, I'm gonna walk up to me. See, you're wounded. You know why you're wounded? It's because your idiot friends keep throwing grenades. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So seven. It's manageable. So now go back. Now I'm going to tone that down a little bit. So to do that, I'm going to quickly go to server. I'm going to say this overrides. And we have it set to 1550, which is pretty generous. 10 times what this is. So we're going to do 7 times. So that's going to be like, what, 11? So now I'm going to stand up. Okay. I think you're all out of grenades, so that's a good thing. Hey, Jay. <laughs> and let's see how many bullets it takes. Hello? Hi. Hey. No, I set the number lower, so you should be taking less bullets, not more. Go! Go! 
Wow, your arm hitbox is amazing. It literally took all of those bullets. I swear to God! Who threw it? Who... Why are you throwing it at the... Here, here's your, here's your, god damn it. Ready. Here's your fucking drone strike from frickin' whatever. No, you're supposed to fall down. Oh, you, just, 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 just land on him. Make me feel better. Awesome, cool. Stupid AI. Okay. Th this is, this is how I become the anti-terminator, I swear to god. Let's try this again. Okay, maneuver to my back. Shoot me in the back. Shoot me in the ass. How about that? Um. Hello? So, the arm hitbox got in the way of that, but if I shoot you where the vest isn't protecting you, it knocks you out outright. Wow. Okay, that's... That's just making the hitboxes even better. Great. That's... <sighs> I swear to God. I will drone strike you all. Freaking children. Okay. Back of the vest. Let's go. Ten shots. Let's try... Let's try six. Let's let's get a 762 rifle out here cuz these I, I want to test it against 762s not G3s which I'm pretty sure are 556. So which one of you chuckle fucks are still alive with a 762? None of you because you all disappoint me equally. Ah. Now I'm going to bring a fire team in, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to set them all to careless hold fire, and I'm going to bring them over. Okay, and I'm going to separate them. Now I'm going to take you... No fucking grenades. Don't you had a... You s Who did it? Who did... You are literally... I hate you all. <sighs> Please stop. For the love of frickety frack. Okay. Fuck you. Anyone else? No? Good. I'm glad we learned something. Jesus, titty fucking Christ. Armor values are out of whack, yo. Configure. Add-on options. I'm gonna stand up. Did someone just throw something? I, I feel like I just say that out of habit now. Because I literally hate you all. I feel like switching that isn't doing anything. 
But then again, we also go on the habit of if it wasn't broke before, don't bother fixing it. But that's okay. Where are we? Add-on options. I think I'm just going to say fuck it. This worked fine in the previous op. We still had people go down. We're not changing anything ballistically. The only thing we're doing is taking units from special forces boils, which I might not even use. I might just set them to invincible and manually kill them off when they take enough fire, but you know. Shit's whack, yo. It's, it's because even if I do averages, the only thing that's going to really test it is playing an operation. And in the op setting we played with those settings on uh, Monday, yesterday, the players told me they worked fine. So I'm probably just not going to freaking edit them. Yeah, we can just stick with that. And now I have fucking hiccups. But now I'm thinking, so spawn down there, they've got, what, a few clicks to travel to that airbase. They take the airbase and then they come over... Let's, let's view this out. So I got the drone as well. They put the drone in the air. They got to be careful because drone can immediately get shot down because Shilka. They take the air base. They then go left. They take this facility. And then they have to clear that town out of resistance. And this area out of resistance. And I can put some fighters down. And then that gives them that little foothold. And then I get to turn that into an AO. We can make this into a partial AO. And then we sweep north. And just do some interesting areas. I mean, there's fields out here we can do through airborne and armor ops. Yeah. Yeah, it should be all right. Ah, uh, because everything else is tested and we know it's fine for now, so... Whew! Fun stuff. Alright, let me tab out real quick. So, we'll be back in about an hour for Granite's Op. I will be streaming that one. Uh, it's going to be something really silly because we're going to test these uh, ace settings with, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Warhammer 40k. And Granite, expecting this to be a Charlie Foxtrot, has uh, set the respawn. So you'll be dead for 15 seconds and then respawn on your corpse. So... We're going to see people get respawn camped, and it's going to be hilarious. But I'm going to play Commissar, which means I'll shoot my friendlies in the back. Because why not? Uh, yeah, hi and goodbye, right, Lord? But um, yeah, we'll be back in an hour or two or that up. So thanks for watching this. Uh, again, it'll play out Monday. Um, and then maybe after the op uh, tonight, I'll go into streaming because I want to rebuild all the Half-Life stuff. But uh, cheers, guys. Go operate operationally. And uh, yeah, see you in an hour.